Now we've come around the circle to chapter five. You've done all that great work of planning, of enacting plans, making things happen. And now it's time to think about putting together a report about what's going on, what you've actually accomplished. We're gonna think about how to sketch out a report early in this process, not at the tail end of the process, how to make sure we're keeping track of what we say we wanna keep track of, um, putting the pieces together, and finally showing the trends over time and cycling back around so we can do it again next year and show how the trends continue. One of the biggest mistakes that a general manager makes is waiting until the week before or the month before uh, an INS report is due to put together the report. Um, it's hard to do a good INS report in that kind of time frame. Uh, the best thing a manager does to put together an INS report is actually start writing it a year before it's due, sketch it out, put the pieces together uh, in a way that you think might be what the final product looks like. Don't worry about the cleaning up the edges, but just get the chunks together in a way that makes sense. Things may change over the course of the year and that's fine, but you'll know what you're working with all through the cycle. As Art mentioned in the previous chapter, you'll wanna make sure you are measuring what you're trying to accomplish, changing plans, as you need to. Um, you may find that you're gonna change those plans, you may change how you measure them, um, but you're gonna be keeping track of data throughout the year. You're not gonna wait until the end of the year to try to gather the data. If it turns out that it's not going the way you want, again, back to what you heard in the last chapter, it's okay to change. Uh, go back and, and sketch out your ends report differently. Don't get tied down to what you did there at the beginning of the year, but remember that having that sketch helps you plan throughout the year and makes it much easier at the end of the year to put all the pieces together. The ends report itself is finally just a compilation of all the pieces. You've put the pieces together all year round. Um, you've got that sketch. You know where things fit together. It isn't a hard thing to put it all together at the tail end, hopefully. Um, you'll want to look at the, the ends report as you put it together and make sure it makes sense as a whole, that, it, that the pieces do fit together that if you need to add some notes, something to ex needs explanation, go ahead and do that. Um, and make sure that you've got it complete and handed to your board long before they need to uh, act on it to make decisions about it. Um, I always suggest at least a full week before a board meeting, a board should have an ends report in their hand, ready to uh, read it themselves as individual directors and come to the board meeting ready to do something great with it. A good report is not just a matter of being able to check off compliance. A good report is an opportunity. Um, with a good report, you can give your board the tools they need, the information they need to make good decisions. Especially if you can help your board see trends over time, helping directors understand that there's a story, that there's, a, there's movement that they are a, a part of. Secondly, if you demonstrate clear accountability, you both help yourself as a manager and you help the board uh, accomplish their, their duty, their, their role of oversight for the co-op. And thirdly, a good report uh, provides a foundation for a, a safe strategic conversation. Um, there should be lots of information in there that is grist for the mill. Uh, boards and managers together can talk about uh, what's there, what it means, how it might impact the future, and how they might adjust to be ready for what the future is that's coming. So let's quickly go over putting all the pieces together so that you do have a coherent report to hand to the board so that it can do all those great things that a good report can do. The first piece of the report itself will be the policy. Um, just restate the, the ends policy that the board has given to the manager. Uh, in this example, we'll use uh, a, a common um, theme that shows up in a lot of ENDS policies just for illustration, but don't get too stuck on the exact details of this example. Following the policy itself, the manager uh, presents an interpretation. Here's an example of how a manager might have interpreted that policy about uh, local economy and sustainable agriculture. Following the interpretation, then a clear presentation of operational definitions. What did we measure? What were the benchmarks that we were trying to, to reach? And how close did we come to those benchmarks? 
some examples here in this uh, in this slide again are tied to that that example of the policy that was presented earlier and then presenting the data that's the fourth piece of the, the puzzle uh, here's an example of a table that a manager might use to show data for certain uh, benchmarks or certain metrics over time uh, graphs charts are another way to show this sort of trend data um, just presenting one single data point out of any context becomes uh, not so useful. Uh, so find good creative ways to show uh, how the data has changed or, or not over time. Here's an example from Tim Bartlett at Lexington Co-op. Uh, Tim put a lot of thought into how to present information um, to his board. And here, in, especially in the bottom right, you can see an example of uh, Tim tracking uh, local uh, sales and uh, you can see that there are a couple years where there wasn't much change and then uh, then big change in the third year and there's a story there and the board and the manager together can work to understand what that story is. Remember that the ENDS report is not necessarily a, a storytelling tool. The ENDS report really should be clear, simple, really focused on the four pieces that get us to that data. How do we focus on what the data is telling us? So don't try to make your ENDS report do more than that. Uh, all those other uh, tools available to you are much better for storytelling. So you might use the annual report, you might use the newsletter articles, um, you might use press releases, uh, you might use your personal uh, position, your personal presence at the annual meeting. All those are much better uh, venues for storytelling. Finally, in the last chapter, we'll look briefly about how to put all these, these pieces together and think about ends being meaningful for everyone in the co-op community, ends driving what happens operationally, and helping everyone understand who we are as a co-op, why we do what we do, what our values are. Thanks.